My name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and um, welcome to my YouTube channel and today I, I want to talk to you about um, why you do not give a financial statement to the IRS, a 433F or 433A, uh, without really consulting a, a professional. Um, as a former IRS agent, I've worked, I don't know, thousands and thousands of cases and I used to love when taxpayers came in up unrepresented because I would really be able to have my way with them because um, their lack of knowledge, they didn't know what to put and they, they put sometimes too much and other times they just openly gave you a, a, an open door into their life. And you just never want to do that. That 433A and 433F forms that you fill out are for them to fully collect the money fully collect the money. Uh, it also allows them into your life, into your expenses, allows them into your income, and everything in fact you have. And they're looking at things you're not even looking at. You put the things down and, and usually when IRS gets them, many times the financial statement doesn't even make sense. Uh, the income and expenses don't even reconcile. Uh, the asset base, are you putting too much, too little? So when an agent looks at a form, he's just or she saying one thing, where am I going to collect the money from and where did they make a mistake? If you look closely on the 433A, it's the longer version of the 433F, you're going to go ahead and notice on page four on the expense side for IRS use only. That is the only side that's important on that page nothing else. So you can put whatever you want down for expenses, but IRS is going to change that. What's really important about financial statements is that IRS has a national standard program. They go ahead and look at your income, they see where you live in the county, and there's a chart on how much they will allow you for food, for housing and utilities, for car, car expenses, and things like that. So you may put down one thing, but they're going to put down something else. So you really need to have someone that can help adjust that for you. So anytime you need some help with that financial statement or you're really not sure you have a few skeletons in the closet, do not give that. And by the way, IRS looks at four things. They're going to look at your bank statement, your tax return, your cost of living, and that financial statement. Four factors. And they're going to make sure every one of them line up. So be careful.